Hey guys, welcome back to, to my next video. Oh my god, I've been screwing up my intros lately. Anyways, um, we are going to be doing the next video in the CSGO series. Now, this is not the Let's Play series, if you've looked at the title. This is the tutorial series where I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to do, uh, or how to get better at, um, different weapons, different smokes, different jumps, different maps, different teams, different everything. Every single possible thing you want to get better at, pretty much. Um, but anyways, we're going to be doing this video on the M4A1S. Now, you got a choice when you're on CT to either do an M4A4 or an M4A1S. Um, I'm going to be making a video on which one's better from my preference and what you should look at um, for different, uh, I guess you could say, teams and which weapon you should use, which weapon you shouldn't use. But this one's going to be the on the M4A1S. Uh, if you're looking for the M4A4, that will be in the playlist in the description, same as the AK-47 for the T side, or terrorist side. Um, but this is for the M4A1S, I hope you guys enjoy, we're going to be starting off with statistics, and yeah. Okay, recording in 3, 2, 1. Okay guys, so for statistics, this is what I always do for like all the weapons that um, pretty much... I will be doing in this series is I want to go over the statistics of course there will be the annotation on the screen that will be showing you guys to skip to the actual like damage shooting movement everything like that um, but this is pretty much going to be explained to you on why you should even be using this weapon why you should even want to buy this weapon because of course these weapons uh, if you're in competitive and you buy the weapon if it's a crappy weapon to start out with well you probably don't want it um, but pretty much all CSGO weapons they all have their own better parts um, for using the weapon of course um, but we're gonna start off first with the cost the cost is 3200 for the M4A1S um, I'm pretty sure for the M4A4 it's 3700 could be wrong could be very wrong um, so the price difference is lower um, and I'll pretty much explain during this whole entire thing why that is lower the ammo is 20 bullets in your mag and 40 extra bullets. Now that is a drastic difference than any other assault rifle. This is actually really low and pretty much it's not only um, just the amount of the number of ammunition. It's the fact that usually killing one person, if you're not that great at shooting, you're going to end up shooting about 18 shots. So that literally means you're only going to get 4, possibly 5 kills. And that means that you've not missed the whole clip at all. So that's one thing you should probably keep in mind when buying this weapon is you got to be really accurate and you're probably going to have to pick up a weapon during a round. Now, um, so that's pretty much for the ammo and the cost. The kill ward, just like pretty much every assault rifle, is 150%, pretty default. Um, the damage is 33, which again is very low, um, but the reason for that is because it shoots so fast that that is one bullet hitting, that's 33 damage. So if you shoot enough bullets, you're gonna get, you won't even know the damage, like the difference of damage at all. Um, the fire rate, which kind of mixes up for or makes up for the damage, is pretty much I, I guess around three quarters, maybe yeah, around half, three quarters around there. It's pretty default for assault rifles. It shoots pretty fast. Um, and also, guys, I'm going to probably make a video on the M4A1S suppressor or no suppressor. Uh, I actually cut out the gameplay like behind this on pretty much uh, the suppressor is the first one where everyone where everything that uh, you guys are going to see is me using the suppressor. The second half is all without the suppressor. So uh, you can kind of look at how better it was. I don't know exactly. Um, in the beginning, I was playing against a lot of bots for the uh, no suppressor, but anyways, that is for, that, that, that does not matter for right now. <laughs> um, the accurate range is 39 meters, which is again, very default for assault rifles. Accurate range, it, eh, it's not really a thing for me. Um, of course, if you're spraying and you're not holding shift, not crouching, not any of that, which I'll explain in movement, you're going to miss all your shots, there's no way. Uh, you're going to hit anything, but, um... Mobility, 225, pretty much the same as an assault rifle. It's, a, it's an all-around gun, pretty much. Uh, armor penetration is actually kind of up there. It is 70. 70 is pretty much three-quarters of the way. So it does do a good amount of damage. I'm pretty sure, take, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's a one-shot headshot as well. Uh, just like the AK-47. So you make sure to aim for your headshots, and you'll definitely be good. 
Um, but that is pretty much it for statistics, um, and we will be moving on to shooting. Okay, guys, so for shooting, there's three different types of shooting, just kind of like what I was explaining with all the assault rifles. Uh, definitely check them out if you haven't already. Um, the There's three different types of shooting. There's the, like the pretty much just cap firing, single shotting, whatever the heck you want to call it. And when you just press the trigger once, it shoots one, possibly two bullets. Um, and then the burst firing, which is like six to eight bullets, depending on how long you go ahead and shoot. And then, of course, um, just pretty much spraying, which is pretty much almost the whole mag. If not, you spray 10, 15 bullets and then reload, depending on whatever you do. Um, so, single shotting, as I was saying, is you just go ahead and go against the wall, or go, at, go against the wall. What the heck am I talking about? You go ahead and you just go ahead and shoot once, twice, three times. And you do not hold down the trigger. This is really good for long-ranged um, areas of the map. You definitely want to use this against long ranges. Uh, if you're around medium range, you're going to go ahead and probably use this as well. Uh, depending on, again, the situation or circumstances, it's pretty much your choice. Dep det uh, depending on what the situation is. Um, and then the bursting is pretty much... Uh, somewhat long range not like long range as far as mid doors to t-spawn on dust 2 that's a little too far for us uh, as far as bursting um but bursting is pretty much medium range i don't like i say not face to face i don't think you should do that unless you're going to be able to hit all the headshots and then you're, you're good you're perfect um and then of course spraying is pretty much all close ranged if sometimes i can go ahead and hit like medium shots of spraying i do that a lot with the m4 actually um that i go ahead and spray a little bit more um but it pretty much it all depends on you pick whatever you want to do um just make sure to time your shots right and use the perfect shot um but that is pretty much it for shooting there's three types of shooting just be accurate and we will be moving on to movement which pretty much goes hand in hand with shooting Okay guys, so for movement, which again I just said goes hand in hand with shooting, shooting, if you're good with your shots, then you've got to be good with your movement, and if you're good with movement, you've got to be good with shooting. It goes hand in hand, you can't be good at one and horrible at the other, or you're going to not be able to kill the person. Um, so movement, I like to say there's three different types of movement. One is pretty much just full on sprinting, no shift, no crouch, no nothing. Now that that does not mean you're just sitting there not pressing any movement keys and you're shooting. Uh, it's because that can sometimes be accurate. I highly doubt you should ever do that though. It's better to hold shift. Um, I'll explain that in a second though. Um, so I mean like you're just charging forward, spraying, you're not gonna hit any of your shots. And you'll see that in the clip that I might have already played or put in right here, depending on whatever I did. Um, is pretty much you see the shots that go all over the wall. It's everywhere. There's no way you're going to hit those shots. But again, you might hit a couple headshots and possibly get a kill, but it's very rare that you'll even do that. Um, just saying, uh, that's what I want to say. I see a lot of people do it in casual and stuff where they act almost like it's Call of Duty, and you don't want to do that in, in uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. You never want to do that. It's not a good idea at all. Um, then the next part of pretty much movement is crouching, or actually not crouching, is shifting. Now shifting is holding down shift, so you kind of like, you walk slower than what you usually do. Um, which that makes it so you're more accurate. I usually hold shift if I ever see an enemy, and then I go to crouch form if someone's farther away. I always hold shift, that's always what I do. And it usually makes my um, aim a little bit better. You gotta remember though, if you're getting shot at by a sniper, it's not a good idea to sit there behind no cover. You're just going to be blown away by a guy with an op. Uh, it's not a good idea at all. Um, shifting's more for if you're trying to hit someone medium, long range, even short range sometimes. Um, it, crouching is pretty much long range, or if someone's shooting at you, you can always crouch and try to deflect some bullets. Um, and crouching is probably the most accurate. Crouching... When you're going ahead and shooting, it usually shoots up in a straight line, barely goes to the right or left, and when you're moving, and you can pretty much be very accurate with that. You can just aim down while you're shooting, and you always hit your shots. Uh, so that's what I usually prefer to do is shift and crouch. I never, ever run and gun. That is very bad idea, I'll have to admit. Um, but that is pretty much it for movement. It's another thing that you should probably just go ahead and pick up, um, or just go ahead and pick and pretty much pick what you want to do at certain times and focus on doing that during the game until you're so good at it you're so good at it i cannot speak today so good at it so you can just go ahead and not think at all anymore 
Okay, guys, so the last thing that I'm going to go over is practice. Of course, what you're seeing on your screen. Now, practice is probably the best thing for Counter-Strike. It's best for any game. You always, always practice your skills. Think about it in sports. You practice dribbling, throwing, kicking, whatever sport you play. And you get better at those uh, types of movements. And then you're able to go ahead and use those when you're actually playing a game. And you won't even have to think about doing the movements. You just do them and you are perfecting them so much you never make mistakes. Uh, so practice is probably the best thing to go ahead and use. Um, so practice, there's many different ways of practicing. I'm just naming a couple here, which is the ones that I used to use and some that I still use now. Um, so the first thing of practicing is, of course, just shooting against a wall, looking at the spray, and then doing the very opposite. Now, that makes it so you're able to control your spray, and you'll be able to go ahead and be a little bit more accurate, know where to aim your crosshair when you're firing, and you'll always hit your shots. Um, that is probably the beginner level. This is like, I guess you could say Counter-Strike 101, that's what that was. Um, everyone says that in every single How to Be Good Counter-Strike video. Um, it does work for some people. Some people, just like me, when I first played Counter-Strike, I thought that was completely stupid. I was like, that, that. why should I have to shoot against a wall? Why can't I shoot against people? And that's the reason why I went for these other things. Um, so the second one is actually kind of complicated. I'll leave the commands in the uh, description. And I saw a couple people do this. Uh, you go ahead and type a couple different commands, and it pretty much freezes the bot on your team in front of you, and that allows you to go ahead and shoot a player, and you can kind of see where your sprays hit uh, if you use another command, which shows your impacts. I think it's SV underscore show impacts one. I think that's what that is. Um, but that one pretty much shows where your bullets hit, and you'll see where you where you would hit on a player. So you're not only hitting body shots, you're also trying to aim for headshots. So if you're able to hit headshots all the time, well then you're golden. You'll always pretty much win a gunfight. Um, but that is pretty much it for the second one. The third one is actually aim maps. Now aim maps, I'm going to leave another one in the description like what I always do. The aim maps are amazing. This aim map I highly recommend. No, I'm not sponsored by them. But it's the one that pretty much taught me in how to shoot an AK-47. Uh, so definitely check that tutorial out. Um, the AK-47 tutorial if you're struggling with that. Um, but it pretty much taught me on how to shoot with an AK-47. It really helps the one that I use um, to pretty much tap fire and be accurate at tap firing and get your reaction speed up. Um, it's definitely really good to go ahead and use that. Um, the last one, which is actually what you guys have been watching during this whole video, is just playing the game. Playing a game, not competitive though. Don't jump in a competitive game to use the new weapons. Hop in a casual game, hop in a deathmatch game, hop in an arms race game, or even hop into a uh, demolition game or actually just an offline game with some friends or bots you can do that as well um, so definitely just hop into any game that you ever want to do um, as long as it's not competitive and just play with some weapons you don't ever use and try to go ahead and get better at those weapons and then you'll also be able to use them when you're actually fighting actual players you're not fighting bots you're not fighting targets you're not fighting walls or anything like that it is pretty much just the way that you're supposed to play the game um, but hopefully you guys liked this video if you did make sure to hit that like button uh, if you have any other guns that you guys want me to rec or want me to go ahead and go over definitely comment them below uh, if you have any other things you want me to add in my videos or anything like that definitely comment as well and um, I will see you guys all in the next one